Switching to sports, it's been a rough couple of years for the yeah. Panthers. Only five <laughs> wins in back-to-back -back seasons. Ouch, well, when you put it that way. The team certainly has a lot to fix, but it does start with the quarterback position. Our Will Kunkel joins us from the NFL Combine to tell us how today went. All right, guys, I don't think it's a secret at all that Sam Darnold is not the answer at quarterback for the Carolina Panthers. He started off really hot. He went 3-0, and played some really good football, and then he hit a streak where he threw 10 interceptions in six games. Not good enough. Matt Rule has acknowledged this, and Scott Fitterer, the GM, has acknowledged this as well, and he did that again today, that they are willing to do anything to move on or at least upgrade the quarterback position. Yeah, I'd say Sam's the first to tell you he didn't play as consistent as he needed to last year. There are a lot of different factors in that, you know, including the offensive line, injuries with Christian. Um, but he does. He needs to take that next step. You know, we need stability at the quarterback position, whether that's Sam, whether that's someone, someone else. Someone needs to take grab, you know, take hold of that position and own that. And right now it's, it's open. If Sam does it, that'd be great, but it, it's open. One of the things that is making this difficult for the Panthers is just the sheer mathematics of this. Donald is set to earn $18 million in his fifth year option. And if you're going to be a backup, earning $18 million makes it very difficult to sign some of your free agents like Hassan Reddick, Stephon Gilmore, Dante Jackson, you name it. So it's going to be interesting how the Panthers go about moving on for Sam from Sam or filling the holes in around him. But what about Cam Newton, yes, QB1, still an option coming up at 5 o'clock. Hear what Fitterer said about Cam, guys. All right, thank you, Will. Let's talk about the other football in town. Charlotte FC fans are gearing up for the team's home opener. Their first match in the Queen City, that's going to be Saturday at Bank of America Stadium. Our CSL crew will be live in Uptown as thousands of fans get ready to watch history being made in the Queen City. You can watch their pregame show, CSL FC, that's live on Fox Charlotte starting at 7 p.m.